After only leading by one, heading into the halftime break, the Ohio Bobcat defense came to life and suffocated the thundering herd as they only allowed 16 points in the second half, only three in the fourth quarter, en route to their 67-51 victory. The Bobcats came into this game hot on both sides of the ball. Katie Barker had a great first half with 15 points, including this three to end the first quarter. I can kind of feel it after my first shot, um, how the ball is coming off my hand and I just felt it tonight, I guess. Marshall would storm their way back into the game with an 11-0 run to end the half. With only a one-point lead, the Bobcats would look to their defense for help. The Bobcats ended the night with 13 steals, four blocks, and 20 forced turnovers. After Marshall banked in that three-pointer from 28, 30 feet, it seemed like that kind of took some wind out of our sails and, and they kind of got moving a little bit and hit, hit a couple other tough shots and uh, and really had some momentum heading into halftime. And I thought our kids did a good job of, of really coming out and setting the tone defensively in the third quarter. A key contributor to the Bobcats' killer defense was CC Hooks, who had six steals and ten rebounds. Well, my mom always told me, like, since I won, I won Defense Player of the Year, he said that I need to pick it up and play like I'm Defense Player of the Year, and that's what I've been doing ever since. Syracuse the Bobcats now look to their matchup on Sunday against Ohio State. When I was a freshman and KB was here, they kept saying, we're not playing you, we're not playing you, we're not playing you. So for them to finally want to play us, um, I think is really exciting and brings more intensity to that game. And yeah, it is kind of like a crosstown rival. You could tell Katie Barker and CC Hooks and the rest of the Ohio women's basketball team is gearing up for their matchup on Sunday against the Ohio State Buckeyes. For Bobcat Showcase, I'm Jack Demler.